the micro LED, the micro LED is interesting. Is that 4K? Or was that what is? I, I, I can't think, remember. Was I think it, the I think the micro LED is like. I think you can scale it. You can go from like 4K. The more tiles you add on, you can go up to like 8K, even like 10K or something like that. From what I was from what I was watching and reading. Wow. So I think like resolution is like scalable. <clears throat> wow. So you can add. You can. Wow. You can upgrade your really. If you were to get a mic, if you were to get those micro LED panels, that would be the last TV you ever really buy because all you'll be doing is just adding to it. Which is kind of cool. So, if you want to get a TV without the black bars, you can just make mm -hmm. yourself a 21 by 9 TV, which I think is is an awesome idea. Now, I don't know if that's going to be um, if that's going to be. I don't think it's going to be available this year, though, like for mass for consumers. But I still I still think we're like another year or so away. But here's the thing. Here's the problem you run into. Let's say okay. Let's say it was released this year. Let's say you get. Let's say you get. Uh, well. Uh, Three, six, nine. Let's say you get, I don't know, six panels, okay? And you've had it for a year. And then you decide to get another two panels. Make that, make it a wider screen, right? Yeah. Would the screen have deteriorated somewhat? It's micro LED. You see what I mean? Would that bright? I mean, if it's LED. Yeah, but, see, I don't, it's, LEDs have like a lifespan, yeah. I think, of like 20,000 hours. So that's like, that's a lot of time. <clears throat> that is a lot of time, but. Would there be any kind of deterioration if you're adding brand new panels to it? Would there be any difference? Oh yeah, that's right. because, yeah. Will one be darker yeah, than the other one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so that's where the problem starts. It's yeah. like shit. Because when they had all those panels together, it was like one one big thing. But then I did notice that on the Samsung, on that they had what did they have there? Like an 80 inch or something? It was crazy, right? They had all these. Was it an 80 inch or 100 uh, inch or no, 200? Yeah. It, was like, I don't even know. it was like 219. God damn! So two nineteen, right? But they kept it. Out. They didn't let people get close to it. Of course, they don't want to see those seams. Yeah. Of course. Of course. I've seen. Uh, I've seen Sony's yeah. version of that. I think they call it the Cletus, where they're just like squares and they, they stick them together. They had them at um. Yeah. They had them at one of their uh, press conferences. I seen, and it was like I want to say it was about the size of that two nineteen, but when everything was black, you could see where the squares were, where it was stitched together. But when it was on, when the color was on it, it was like the brightest thing I ever seen. It was like looking at the sun. It was so bright. Wow. And, and the colors, it would just look like you're looking at a gigantic TV rather than a, a, like a projection. Wow. So, so I definitely think 8K is definitely, I, I, I think micro LED is definitely the step forward for sure. But then again, I'm looking over to LG and I'm seeing 8K OLEDs and look tasty, baby. That's the case. Yeah, AK OLEDs do look very nice indeed as well, though. But then, once again, totally unnecessary. I don't know what they're doing. Like, I was looking at Samsung. Okay, so they've got the QLEDs, and then they're going to have the normal LEDs, and then they're going to have the AK LEDs. Now they're talking about micro LEDs. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine a person who wasn't savvy would just walk into a shop, take a look, and say, I don't know what I'm getting. I'm walking straight back out because it's, it's too much. I think there's just, there's too many choices, but you're right. I don't think they would, they're definitely not releasing the micro LED this year. That would, off, I think that would directly come. Um, that that's direct competition with the AK panels. But if they do release this year, at least that 75 inch, I think that could be an OLED killer right there. If it's uh, if there if there's no seams in it, I think that's going to be the winner. Mm. Oh, my my Samsung rep, the guy that I talked to, he seems to think. <clears throat> that towards the end of the year we'll see we'll see a 75 come out okay but would you buy a 75 inch micro led knowing would you rather buy that or would you rather buy the panels i'm not buying anything this year if they were like hey this is a, a 12 bit panel that's when i'm going to jump on it other than that i don't i don't yeah, there's see no, there's yeah. no 12 bit shane yeah what is going on reason. hdmi 2.1 is cool but um i don't think uh I don't think now it's time to buy. Maybe second half wow. of the year. Maybe Sony announces another flagship product second half of the year, or sometimes Samsung will announce it second half of the year. They are like a, a real cheap See, flagship, 12-bit panels. I don't know why, but a while ago, I was always under the impression that OLED was 12-bit. I don't know why, but I always thought it was. I mean, only 10. But it isn't, right? Yeah, only 10-bit. Can you 
Could you imagine a tall bit to own it? God, damn. that'd well, be crazy. Well, other than Samsung, Hisense has got something similar to that. They got obviously another AK AK TV from Hisense. <clears throat> it's the uh, AK yeah. ULED. Instead of like micro LEDs, it's got like mini <clears throat> mini LEDs where they kind of miniaturized LEDs, not to the same kind of a uh, small form factor as micro, but it's got like <clears throat> something like eighty six thousand points of light with about five thousand zones. <clears throat> Wow. So that's like, that's gonna be like crazy good. That's gonna be like better than the master backlight. Yeah. 